This video is about wiring in a 240 volt female receptacle for my welder. It's a 200 amp service, really nice clean panel. So I want to keep it clean, let the wires all flow nicely. I'm going to add more to it later, so I'm keeping these wires nice and clean. Earlier I went ahead and cut the sheetrock out of the way, paddle bitted my way through the studs, and then ran this flexible Romex. And this is the receptacle all wired in. Everything's nice and tightened up already, ready to go. And over here, this is live. This box here is live. Um, you can kill the power right here to the lower part, but you still have to have a lot of respect for that because it's a live box. So I wire in this double 60 amp breaker right here with the uh, in the off position. The ground's already ran up to there. So we're going to go ahead and uh, pop this guy in right now. Okay, there we go. That's all in, ready to go. So I'm going to give her a turn it on. And you always want to check the voltage when you're done here. You don't want to plug in anything, you know, without knowing what you got. You could blow up your machine. So we're going to test this out. I'm going to run a ground here first. Make sure there's no short there. Then I'm going to come across here and I should have 110 right here. There we go. Alright, and then we should come up here, get another 110 right here, yep, and then we'll jump across here, and then we should have our 240. Alright, looks good. So that's about it for this video. Uh, next video I'm going to make a little one on wiring up this extension cord. I got some number six three wire here. Same stuff I used on the other one. Really nice end right here, weather protected. And then we got the mail on the end. That'll be on the next video. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful a little bit there. All right. Thank you.